All right, today you're going to start working in on your roster in Google Sheets. Um, the example they give you looks like this, but you're actually not going to have that A, B, C, D, E, F. That just tells you what what uh, columns you're in, and these tell you what rows in. I'll show you how to look at the end. You can put numbers in there, and if you stick around, I'll show you a quick way to do it. But you need to go to Google, and you are going to click on the waffle sheets and you're going to do a new sheet so when you get there you can see there's the A that doesn't actually show up one two three four you have to put those things in so what you need to do first is start putting in the column headings um, you can see I kind of started a little bit but you're going to have first name, last name, position, all that. If you want that Birmingham Bulldogs roster as a title up there, you're going to have to click on here and drag across. But actually, we don't know how many cells we have. So the best way to do that is just start typing in what they have. So they have first name, last name, position, first name, last name, position, height weight uniform number height weight uniform number and you can see it's kind of hiding a little bit to, to widen these cells you gotta go to the top where ABCDF is there and just click and drag same with down here so we're gonna make a header up there so what you do is once you know how many how many columns you're gonna have and if you're not sure if you can get all the information, you got to come up with other ideas of what to put there. Maybe uh, professionally used experience, college they went to, anything. But you need you need to have um, five columns there. All right, so we're going to merge these into one. So because if I type now and I type Bulldogs um, of Alabama, it's not going to really work for me. I want it to be centered across all these. So to do that, you got to hold the shift key and select all of them or click and drag across all of them and you get this little merge cells. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and go to the alignment and put it in center. And also bold and right here with this drop down arrow is a vertical line. You want that thing in the center of the actual cell. All right, so you want vertically and horizontally centered. All right, so we're on the second part here. Um, actually, I just did all that, so we'll look at the last part here. So you can see. Well, actually, let's go back. You can you can see that I, I have I don't have a bowl. I don't have it set, centered in the middle of the page, um, and I need to do that. But I also need to make this all bold. So if you select everything, you can bold. You can center and you can do it all at one time and I would actually do that for your whole page is to make this center and center you might want to change other things later but once you get that far um, you need to start centering everything and get it aligned correctly alright so I made it bigger again if you want to put numbers in there you can just go ahead and click on the A and then right click and insert left and you'll get a column there on the left side and that's where you can do one two but I like to do it the, the cheating way I hate to say it but it's faster to do that I would do equals sum it's a function that you'll will probably learn later so sum and the value is going to be the first cell plus one and it'll just keep on adding a number plus a3 so I enter so this is actually a two in there, but I did a sum function. So now if I just drag it all the way down, it'll copy and paste that function, and now I it quickly puts in those numbers. And again, you can bold and center and do all that. I've already centered all that because I did that to this whole document here. But yeah, once you start getting all that information in there, you can start to add this. I'm going to just copy all this because I don't want to have to type it all out right now in this demonstration. 
but let's just say there's a bunch of data in there. Once you have all your data in there, no matter if it's 26 or 12 or whatever your, your team amount, you click on the very first cell, which is A1, right inside that cell where A1 meets. So the very bottom right corner, and in this case is G28, you're going to have to border. And your selections should be all borders, should be all the way around. I mean, if you wanted to get, oh, see, I had another cell here, so I got to actually merge these here. All right, so you can actually make this one, I don't know, maybe a thicker bottom one if you want to and you can mess around with these and make dotted lines and stuff like that it's up to you and that's basically it once you're done just go ahead and send it to me um, and upload it into Google Classroom thanks